in this code sample for using ToneJS uh, library, we can see that the first thing is placing a link for the jQuery library. ToneJS library use jQuery, so we must uh, place a link for uh, jQuery. Then we can find the script element that links to the turned.js file. It is the library itself. This is the content of turned.js library. And then we have a bunch of CSS just for uh, setting the look and feel of the web page we create. And here on the bottom we have a div element that specifies the pages. And as you can see, each page is a separated image we placed within the images folder. These are the images I prepared in advance. Over here we can find a bunch of code in JavaScript. First, we invoke the function ready on the DOM object that represents the window object. Once the loading of the window object is completed, ready function is invoked and this function we pass over is executed. Uh, this anonymous function includes a call to the turn function on the DOM object that represents the div element with the ID book. Uh, this specific div element. So the turn function is invoked on the DOM object that represents this uh, div element and here I pass over a JSON object that, that configure the way I want the um, turn.js library to function. On the bottom we can find on the bottom we can find a call to the dollar function, the jQuery dollar function uh, Passing over window, we get the reference for the DOM object that represents the window object on which we invoke the bind uh, function and specify that we want to handle the key down event and each time uh, the key down event uh, takes place we want this function, this specific function to be executed. Here we just check whether uh, the right arrow or the left one were pressed and in those cases we just invoke the turn function on the object that represents the um, online virtual uh, nice uh, book. Uh, passing over the text previous uh, takes us to the previous page, passing over next, next takes us to the next page. So let's take a look. Here it is, the output. And as you can see, I can also um, go through the pages by pressing the keys, the right and left arrows keys. It doesn't have to be using the mouse.